Welcome back, Thomas fans. We got another edition of Train Mail today. This is an order that we got from eBay. Some Thomas and Friends merchandise. So excited to see what's inside. You guys ready to open it up? You ready? Yeah. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Got our handy dandy box cutter. Be careful, make sure we don't cut our fingers off. Oh, what do we got? See, let's open it up, see what we got. Oh, we got a card from eBay. Hmm. From the guy we bought it from. Rick4811. Thank you, sir. Let's see who it is. I think I know what it is. We do order lots, a lot of stuff from eBay, so sometimes it's hard to remember. But today, Aww. check it out, buddy. Whoa! Wow! This is awesome! He's just awesome. Who is it? Hmm. You remember his name? No. Wilbur. Wilbur. We got Wilbur. <laughs> So for those of you who may not know, we are avid collectors of Thomas and Friends diecast characters. We have a huge collection, which we've uh, we made a video before you might have seen. So that means that because we collect diecast, that means we collect the Ertl trains, take along, take and play, and even now the Adventures trains. This is one of the latest additions to our collection. Wilbert, the forest engine. He's a Ertl train. Let's see here. Doesn't have a date on there. Oh, there it is. He was released in 2001 by Ertl. 2001? 2001. Oh my goodness. 2001. This model's in pretty good condition, as you can see. There's a little bit of chipping on the funnel right there, but other than that, he's in really, really good condition. Now, a lot of the Ertl trains have uh, little stickers on the buffers, but Wilbert here has painted buffers, so those won't come off or wear off after playing with it. So that's good. He's got a nice purpley blue paint job. His nameplate is nice and Still visible. Wilbert. Yeah, he's got the open cab right there so you can see inside of his cab. The couplings are still pretty good. A lot of times with the hurdle, the couplings can snap off or get bent or stressed, but his couplings are still really good. Kind of bent back here. Yeah, that one's got a little bit of stress on it, but it's still intact. Let's see. Let's see if he goes on the tracks. Yeah. Oh yeah, he fits really good. Some of the Earl trains don't fit too well on our take and play tracks, but some of them are really good. The Wilbert seems to fit pretty nice. Only the bigger ones. The little ones? Yeah, the bigger ones usually they have small, tiny little wheels, so they'll kind of scrape along the middle part of the tracks here. But this one has big wheels. Yeah, he's got some big wheels on him, so that's good. So Wilbert is a character that does not appear in the TV series, Thomas and Friends, but he does appear in the Railway series books. And he's in a couple of stories. I'm not really familiar with uh, his appearances, but I think he was friends with 16, or maybe he knew 16, or they worked together. Some of you guys might know the lore a little bit better. He's called Wilbert the Forest Engine. I'm guessing because he worked in a forest. And this is really cool. A lot of these uh, Ertl engines have stickers for their cab windows right here, but it looks like these are painted on. So here's something that's pretty cool. If you take a look at 16's model, they're basically the same model, just with different paint jobs. 16 is an Ertl engine also. He was made in 1998, so I guess 
sometime between 1998 and 2001, they went from the sticker buffers like 16 has to the painted buffers and they stopped doing the sticker cab windows like 16 has and they made the painted cab windows but basically they're the same model so they got the same kind of boilers and domes same funnels different faces but all the other little piping and accoutrements are all the same Different faces. Wilbert's face. 16's face. He doesn't look too happy to see Wilbert. <laughs> Other than that, they're pretty much the same as far as the casting. I'll probably use the same mold to make these two and then just put different paint jobs on them. Even got the same open cab, coupling rods. Yeah, this is uh, one of the latest additions to our collection of die cast engines. Not sure exactly how many that makes now, but it's well over a hundred. And Wilbert's one of the last additions, actually. We have nearly completed our collection. We've almost collected every single uh, die cast model there is to collect. Are you happy we got Wilbert? If any of you are collectors of the die-cast ranges, let us know if you got Wilbert. Have you added him to your collection yet? Hooey. Hello. Heard you were telling stories about me. Uh... We've been trying to get Wilbert for a while now. Most of the ones that uh, we found on eBay were in the box or still on the card so they were kind of expensive this one we got a really good deal on because he was loose out of the package it was only $14.99 so I had to snatch him up finally got us a Wilbert and that's totally awesome so there we go Wilbert our latest piece of train mail thanks for watching guys if you like our videos remember hit that like button at the bottom if you have any comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. And if you want to see more of our videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And as always, until next time, we'll see you on Sodor!